Team Alpha Male ain't going nowhere. This is going to be our best year. Fuck everybody. You leave us, leave us. We don't care. The best train in the world is in Sacramento. And now you know. We're 6-0 this year. We're just getting started. Faber's coming for that belt. That 135-pound strap does not leave our team for long. I'll tell you that right now. Absolutely. And what what were your thoughts on Darren's performance? I mean, Chaz is a tough guy. But Darren went out there and put on a clinic against a really tough guy in Chaz Kelly. I mean, Elkins was in the mentality. If this guy goes three rounds with you, he's going to the hospital. And they took Chaz to the hospital immediately after the fight. I mean, I hope he's okay. Everything's good. But, you know, that's that's the name of the game if you fight one of our guys. You're going to go through hell. And how much has Darren sort of gelled with your team? I heard you talking there uh, with Matt about, uh, you know, how he's really sort of, uh, you know, you like his attitude and everything. Uh, what sort of impact has he had on the team as a whole? Darren is the perfect fit for Team Alpha Male. He's inspired tons of the other the, the younger up-and-coming guys. They're, he's going to make them tougher. Darren's the kind of guy that will run through a wall if you tell him. And like I said, you know, when you have an athlete like that, the potential is limitless. Uh, you're obviously doing the coaching stuff full time now. Uh, any plans at all to keep fighting or no? I know uh, you do sometimes compete here and there. Uh, what, what sort of your plans on that? 2016, myself, Danny Castillo, and Chris Holdsworth are full time coaches. That's okay. all I got to say about that. Perfect. And uh, my last question there is there anyone you'd like to see Darren fight next? He wouldn't really say it. He's a polite guy, obviously, but is there anyone you sort of have your eye on for? Everybody. 